In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to create a new Xenos user. I'll then also show you how to configure Xenos to send an email alert to that user when there is a problem with a specific group of servers. Um, but just quickly to begin with, if you were watching the the first screencast um, on how to set up Xenos, you'll know that we configured a, a client server, and um, because we hadn't left hadn't had the server running for that long, we hadn't had long enough time for Xenos to collect some some performance data relating to that server. So I'll just show you that performance graph now. You can see there um, showing the processes that are running. Um, that's some reutilization and also um, disk IO utilization. Now you can see a spike there. I figured seeing as the server was sitting there doing nothing, I might as well make it do some work and you can see the result of that in the graph. So, to begin with setting up a new user, you're going to want to go to settings from the management section and then we're going to click on the users tab. Now into here we're going to um, select from the drop down box um, add new user and I'm going to add myself in as B Denning and my email address. So now that we've added that new user and an email address, um, there is one other thing that would need to be figured before we can send email alerts and these are these settings here right under the settings tab. Um, the SMTP host, SMTP port, username, password. Um, since the last screencast I've actually gone ahead and installed Postfix on the local server and configured Postfix to forward um, any emails through to my Gmail account. Uh, it's a bit outside the scope of what I want to talk about right now but basically if you have a mail server on your network you can configure it to send it to that. So for mine I'm just going to leave these as the default settings because it is running on the same box. So local host and port 25 will work fine for me. So um, if you want to just check that it's working, um, you can see there's a test button here right next to the user email address and I'm just going to test that now. So it's just saying this will send an email to your address. Do you wish to continue? Yes. And if I now go into my Gmail, I should see a new email, email from Xenos. And there it is. So that's how you can test the email is correctly configured in Xenos. Right, so the next thing that we want to do is basically um, assign this user to be responsible for or administer a group of um, servers. And we can do that by clicking on the user and then selecting the administered objects tab. Um, from the administered objects tab we want to go we can either add a specific like a single server or a specific device or we can add a device class um, in this particular case because I'm the in-house Linux administrator I'm just going to go from device classes and select server slash Linux so that's going to ignore alerts from anything else and it's only going to be the stuff the um, devices that are under this slash server slash Linux class that I'm going to get alerts about so now that I've um, set myself up as being responsible for those particular devices, the next step, once that alert disappears, how embarrassing, okay there we go, is to um, now go in and configure some alerting rules. So now that I've said what group I'm responsible for, I now need to tell it what to do if an alert comes in. So by going to the alerting rules tab, selecting the drop down and clicking add alerting rule, we can just um, put in a name here for this particular rule. I'm just going to call it all problems. So that's added in a new alerting rule called All Problems. And the only thing that I need to really change in here is you can see, um, you can just have a look at some of these options. So that basically the production state, I'm saying only send me alert if the production state is equal, production state is equal to production. Um, only send me this alert if the severity is either equal to or greater than an error. So basically anything that's an error or critical. 
um, and only send it to me if it's a, a new error so anything that's been acknowledged already I don't want to hear about um, to actually set that up we, the only thing we need to change on this here is to um, set enable to true in order for that to work now if you look under a couple of the other tabs we've got the message tab here we can actually customize what the email it's um, is going to contain so I'm just going to leave that as the default but you could always change that around if you needed to another handy feature here is a schedule so you can basically say with these alerting rules only send me these alert alerts between a, a predefined time so if there's servers that are less critical um, maybe you'd want to just send those alerts during business hours so with all the alerting set up that and the new user I'm just going to quickly log out here and actually Sorry, before I do that, there is one thing I've forgotten to do. And um, by default, Xenos won't actually ask you to set up a username and password for that user. So I'm just going to go back into Settings, Users, click on the user I just created, and quickly enter a password. Let's try that again. So if I log out, I should now be able to log in under my own username, bdenning with my password and now I have my own dashboard and I can customize this and only only I will see the widgets and oh, sorry portlets they call them that are added to this um, first interface so now as I said um, the whole objective of this was to add the user and now we'll just want to test to see if that alerts can actually happen so good way to test would just to be simulating this um, our client server here and we're just going to send that offline and check that it does actually send an alert out to my email address so if I log on to the client server as I am here you can see there's, there's a couple of network interfaces but the one that I'm going to um, shut down is Ethernet 2 and you can see my SSH session since I shut that down is no longer working so now Xeno should pick up on that reasonably promptly um, Sorry, because I have logged in on my name, I don't actually have the Linux object list there. So I'm just going to go back into device list and wait for an error to pop up in here. Um, hitting, hitting refresh here just to help the process along, but Xenos will actually refresh this page periodically, so you should see the alert pop up. there we go so we can see um, it's gone red under the event status there I can log into the client um, see that the problem with it is that the status is now saying that it's, the client's gone down if I click on the event over here I actually see um, a more descriptive message so it's saying that basically um, it's tried to ping the server the event class is that it's trying to ping it um, and the server's not acknowledging you can get a bit more of a list sorry if I move this in by just clicking on that, that view button there uh, gives you a more de detailed descriptive message but um, the main thing we want to check is just to see if it's going to send out that alert to us so if I go back into my Gmail account now um, you can see here I have a new message from Xenos and it's told me that the client IP address is down so and the severity is critical even from here I can actually go in and um, get those event details just by clicking on the, the link here and signing back in so there's our there's the details of that um, hopefully that gave you a bit of an idea as to how to set up a new user and how to associate that user with particular servers that they might be responsible for so for example if you had a database administrator or a group of database administrators you probably only want the DBAs to know when a MySQL server went down whereas if you had Cisco devices you're administering it would be a different group of people that would probably want to get the alerts for that and so we can also see there how to configure the email um, thanks for watching